good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel i feel like i never come in here to vlog anymore and i wanted to come in this morning to start this video because it is a beautiful blue sky day today i don't think it was forecast to be sunny today but it has ended up being such a gorgeous day and i've got the sun shining through the doors in front of me that is one of the things i just love most about this flat is how much light comes into this room it is absolutely gorgeous like the fact that we've got these huge doors that i can just look out onto the sun the skyline everything like that makes me so so happy but i wanted to come on say good morning i feel like i've gone full granny chic this morning i'm wearing my new h&m cardi which i absolutely love i love the fact that i can belt it i just feel so like cinched in so pretty so figure hugging while still being super cozy like as much as it's sunny today it's still quite chilly i feel like we had a little bit of like it started to feel like spring and then suddenly we had another cold snap so it is a bit chilly this morning so i've just layered up and of course i am wearing my pearl i honestly have been wearing this so much i feel like i've almost forgotten to wear my diamond necklace which i used to wear every single day but i decided to layer up the pearl with this plain gold chain which i really really like from monica vinader so i will of course link these down below and don't forget, I currently have a 20% off code with Monica Vinader at the moment, which is such an insane discount. I will link to my new jewellery video, if you haven't watched that already, where I show you loads of new and pieces into my jewellery collection, including this necklace. And also, if you want the 20% off discount, you make sure you go through the link down below, because that will help you, because it will apply the discount automatically at checkout. I feel like there's nothing worse than going to do an online order and forgetting to add the code at checkout so it will do it all automatically for you and you guys know how much i adore my monica vanilla jewelry like my bracelets my rings i absolutely adore it so to be able to get 20 percent off is such an amazing discount and a great time to treat yourself because i feel like especially with things like this if you've got like lots of v-necks if you've got maybe like more of a basic not basic but like classic style i feel like elevating it with jewelry is such a great thing to do but i did not come on here to talk to you about jewelry this morning actually i came on here to show you a couple of new in things that i got because if you watch my last h&m video you will have seen my new new little baby and i absolutely adore her she looks so much more expensive than she is but one thing i did mention in that video it's so important to have a bag organizer for it, it currently <laughs> okay please tell me i'm not the only one that does this but it currently has in my toothpaste toothpaste toothbrush box to try and help it maintain some shape because i do find that this bag misshapens really easily i think it's especially because the handles are quite heavy maybe it's even worth this bag being one that you hang if that's something that is possible for you because it is one that misshapens really really quickly but i did order my favorite bag organizer from it so i wanted to show it to you guys so it's literally just from amazon um which is super handy because it means i can get next day delivery now what i have done which i'm not sure if i'm going to regret this basically the last one that i got for the other one i got it in the large size but i do find it's a little bit wide and it does kind of push the bag out a little bit and i feel like the material on that one is different enough that that's okay but i just worry about the material on this one with how kind of like malleable it is so i decided to pick up the medium which i think is not going to be big enough in length but i think it might be a better fit in terms of width so it's basically this little device here and it is so super simple i really really love the idea of these so let me try and kind of like open it up so that it's the shape that it should be it's basically this kind of square box that you pop into the bag and what i also like is that it has pockets in this one there are lots of different kind of bag organizers that you can get on amazon but this is my favorite number one because the color i've not seen many that are a really nice like beigey light color most of them are black which i do find with black handbags and you guys know how many black handbags I have. I do find with black handbags, it's really easy to lose things when it's black inside. So I quite like the fact that this is beige inside. Um, and also it's got lots of pockets. So it's got like a zip here, which is super handy. It's got pockets here. It's got pockets here. It's got pockets. Is this a pocket? That's not a pocket. But also what it comes with is this little thing that you can put in the middle, which even gives you extra pockets if you're the kind of person that likes to have a lot in your handbag. So let me try and... <laughs> I feel like I might even need to keep the box in just to try and keep this one with its shape because obviously it's been in been in the Amazon parcel so it's been flattened out but it basically it just slots in oh yeah see that's a much better 
width than the last one but lengthwise it's not quite big enough it basically just slots in can you see that like that and it just helps the bag maintain its shape a little bit more and just helps it not completely flop and also helps you organize the inside of your bag i might actually just pop this back in and put it inside of it just to really help it maintain its shape. now the only thing i'm worried about now is it doesn't quite come to the edge so i might have to think about what i'm going to do there if it's worth I'm guessing I can't put, mm. maybe I could put that in just whilst I have it at home to try and make sure that it maintains its shape. But honestly, it is such a game changer. I do need to take the labels off of this bag because I know I am definitely keeping it. But it is such a game changer in terms of making sure the bag keeps its shape and it just being really super organised. Because I also don't like using the zip that it comes with because it's right on the edge. So I do find that you get bobbling here, you get like things poking out, protruding. I really don't like that. So I like being able to organise it inside of the bag. So if you are looking to pick this up i don't think it's available online but i will link it down below just in case you can definitely bookmark the page see if you can get your hands on it check back daily or alternatively you could check out the store finder and see if it's available at any stores near you because it's such an amazing handbag to get your hands on i mean it's beautiful and the price of it is just insane i absolutely love this bag now I've just come in here quickly because the other thing that i wanted to show you is very like beauty skincare related now i know we've spoken a lot about skin recently but one thing that i really just want to kind of like hit home with is just how fluctuating our skin can be and i know i've spoken about this and said this before but oh my god if you have to wear a mask for a long period of time every day for your job i sympathize with you so so much because my skin has broken out so badly from having to wear a face mask all the time when we were over in spain and if you haven't watched my spain travel vlog yet definitely go and watch that because it was such a flom vlog if i do say so myself we've got some outfits in there we've got to get ready with me we've got a bit of a skin chat we've got a bit of traveling so make sure to go and check out that video but i'm really excited about what has arrived because i feel like this is really going to help me in terms of my skin journey and we're going to talk a little bit more about skin in this video because i do actually have something really exciting booked tomorrow that i can't believe i'm going to admit i've never had before um we'll talk about that in a little bit but for now the products that have arrived so i was really really kindly contacted by liz l which is a brand that i absolutely adore and asked if i wanted to receive some goodies and obviously i said yes because i was so so excited to receive some newer bits from them so i'm really hoping that just kind of like getting my skin back on track really helping myself with like a really good skincare routine products that are really going to benefit me and looking after my skin and also probably eating better that's really what's going to help me get my skin back to a place that it was before the holiday. The first thing that has arrived is the Super Skin Face Serum. Now, I've heard a lot about the Super Skin range. They're supposed to be an amazing range of products. I've heard so many good things about them. And I really, really love Lizelle products. I feel like they have a really great mix of, like, feeling super luxurious, not being too highly price pointed, being quite, like, an attainable price point, but also just really working. So this is a pomegranate flower Persian silk tree and rhubarb extract. Kind of sounds similar to the Ren one. I wonder if the Ren... The new Ren serum that I recently received is based off this. It says it visibly lifts, firms, and evens skin tone. Obviously, the main thing I will be looking at is evening my skin tone and just getting it back to a place where it doesn't have, like, scarring. It doesn't have fresh marks. And it just looks super, super flawless, basically. So, let's open this up. I just love the packaging of these. How luxurious does this look so i'm super super excited to give that a go and then next from liz l i received the super skin moisturizer as i said very excited about the super skin range now i am quite particular with the moisturizers that i like to use i like it to be very moisturizing without being like thick and heavy like i hate moisturizers that you feel like you have to wait like half an hour for it to soak in i don't like moisturizers that feel greasy on my skin i like it to really hydrate and just feel like a big old drink for my skin and i've had some really really good things about this so it says 72 hours of hydration for plumper firmer looking skin naturally active ingredients again we've got pomegranate flower extract barrage seed oil barrage i'm guessing barrage seed oil and rosehip seed oil so that sounds really lovely again similar packaging to before it just looks so luxurious like this is the kind of thing that i just get excited to use i'm gonna smell it 
oh my god that smells absolutely amazing that looks like the kind of cream that you could use morning or night now it doesn't specify so i think this is a day and night one which is really nice as well because when i went away i did end up taking my nighttime moisturizer and i did find that during the day it was a little bit much sometimes so it's nice to have one that you can use day or night next i am very particular with my exfoliators as well and i don't like to use anything too abrasive because i do especially fine with acne if you're too abrasive with it it just comes back worse than before so i'm really excited to try this this is the gentle face exfoliator naturally active ingredients with eucalyptus cocoa butter and fine jojoba beads gently buffs away dead skins and impurities so i think this is going to be really nice just kind of helping like resurface that layer of skin and without being too abrasive on my breakout area it's going to be really good at just kind of like giving myself a new lease of life so i'm really excited to try that one i've not really heard much about this but we shall definitely give that a go and then the last product which i feel like is just the epitome of lizelle like when you say lizelle skincare this is what everyone thinks of and this is one of my absolute favorites it's the cleanse and polish hot cloth cleanser and i really really like this one especially for traveling i wish i had it with me when we were traveling i was using a different um cleanser whilst i was away just because i had such a limited space that i could take toiletries with me um and i think that didn't help in terms of my breakouts it was actually the keels one which i used to love i just find it a little bit too stripping on my skin now i really like my cleansers to be super gentle super natural and like not stripping on my skin at all but still being really good at like getting rid of all the makeup and stuff so this is definitely one of the best cleansers like it is a cult cleanser for a reason so i'm really excited to have that as well because it just means that at the end of the day i'll have a nice fresh face and i do feel like if you're someone that's breaking out a lot at the moment maybe it's because you're wearing masks a lot or anything like that having a good cleanser is so important because i think that is a big reason why you're breaking out is that especially if you're wearing a mask you know your makeup it's getting a bit clogged up in your pores it's getting a bit much like it's just getting a little bit greasy and a little bit maybe not as hygienic so to have something that really gets in deep and gets rid of all your makeup i would definitely recommend double cleansing this is such a great one when it comes to making your skin really nice and clean i'm so so excited to try these products out over the next coming weeks and see how they really just like better and improve my skin and hopefully we'll be able to get it to a place that it was before the holiday super super soon so thank you so much to lizelle for those products that is such a lovely delivery so it's a little while later now i basically spent the morning doing like meetings having some video calls planning some new things for the next few weeks and it's really got me excited for spring like it's really got me in the mood for like transitional styling transitional outfits and all the spring content and i had a couple of new and bits that i wanted to show you that i am super super excited about so the first thing to show you is from a brand called me and m now me and m is such a stunning brand that i have admired for a really really long time and i've never actually treated myself to anything from them before now and i have adored so many pieces that they have and i feel like they make really gorgeous like staple pieces to have in your wardrobe and items that are just going to last for so so long so it's definitely not a haul because their items are a little bit more premium price pointed but i wanted to show you a new a new an item from me and em that i think is going to be such a stunning spring transitional outfit piece i think it's going to really really work in my spring wardrobe and it's actually this stunning jumper now one thing that i find with spring styling is as much as like in the uk it's still very chilly it's still very cold and you do still need to wrap up but i feel like for me the main thing about going into spring summer is kind of incorporating those more like lighter tones into your wardrobe really embracing a little bit more color a little bit more of those kind of like style pieces so i feel like a pink jumper is just the perfect spring piece to add into your wardrobe and i picked up this absolutely gorgeous number here now this is a very unique jumper and i will show you for why it comes with a separate roll neck now when i saw this on the website i didn't realize that this would come separately i thought it was just attached to the jumper like any other roll neck that i've ever seen but it's actually detachable which i think is so cool because it really does make this the perfect transitional piece because if it's quite a chilly day you can wear it as a roll neck you can keep yourself really nice and snugly warm and then we know what the uk is like in the afternoon it often gets much warmer you get a little bit hotter you unbutton the roll neck and take it off I'm in awe of this, in absolute awe. So basically, 
on this little piece of fabric it has these buttons attached to it don't know how well you can see it and then there's little on the inside of the collar these little holes that the buttons go into so i think that is just the most amazing thing i've ever seen as i said me and m is a premium brand and i feel like just little things like this go to show why like what an amazing design detail that i have never ever seen before i've seen lots of those kind of like fake you know the like ones that are like roll necks but they're just kind of like on your body i've seen lots of like vests like that i have never seen a detachable roll neck jumper so i'm an absolute awe of this now i picked this up in a medium and i definitely think it's a good fit for me i like my jumpers to be a little bit loose a little bit oversized but not too baggy like i don't want them to look like i've borrowed my boyfriend's jumper out of his wardrobe and this is actually a merino cashmere rib jumper i cannot tell you how soft merino cashmere is like it's a really really warm really amazing material i have a few things in my wardrobe that are merino wool and i have a few cashmere pieces in my wardrobe but this is the first time i've ever treated myself to something that is merino cashmere so it really does feel like it's going to be such a luxurious jumper and it's so honestly this is just the softest jumper i've ever felt it's so so gorgeous feels really really premium and it's going to keep you so nice and snugly warm like this is the kind of jumper that you literally you don't need to take a coat out with you because it's going to keep you really nice and toasty so i feel like this is the perfect transitional piece to add into your wardrobe and for my first me and m item i think it's a great first item to add into my collection okay so just to show you it as a crew neck first because i do really like this i think it's a little bit more like casual maybe even a little bit more springtime i definitely wouldn't wear it with these trousers i think with a pair of maybe white jeans or blue jeans would look really really nice and like spring appropriate i love the cuffs i think they are so cool i actually remember when i was a kid and my mum used to always cuff my jumpers for me and i used to think it was so embarrassing because obviously it was so like they were too long for me i was always a little bit of a shorty and i used to find it so embarrassing like no mum like don't cuff them and she would be going but you need to otherwise you literally can't see your hands and now cuffing is just so cool so if you were a kid that hated cuffing like i did then let's all appreciate the fact that it is very in right now i really like how my necklaces sit over the collar as well i think it looks really really nice i do actually really like it as a crew neck i think it's a little bit more casual quite a cute little like weekend outfit inspo and then if i wanted to wear it as a roll neck it just looks a little bit more elevated and a little bit cozy and cute i really really love that it's an option to be able to do that and it didn't take too long to get the buttons done up and actually i love the fact that it's not restrictive at all i don't feel claustrophobic you guys know what i'm like when it comes to roll necks i don't like them to be too tight i don't like them to be too like big on my neck and this feels really nice just like super cozy and comfy and i really really like it so again with a pair of like white jeans i think would look really really nice do you know what would look cute actually a pair of white jeans and a white jumper just thrown over your shoulders really instagram really casual i love that i absolutely love that so would definitely recommend picking this up obviously i know it is a very spenny purchase but considering this is my first purchase from me and m i am very impressed with the quality very impressed with how it feels and i think this is the kind of jumper that will last in my wardrobe for decades to come i am so so in love with it the other item that i wanted to show you is a new pair of shoes now these are from a brand called bobby's which have some gorgeous gorgeous shoes and this is something i think i've spoken about a little bit i've actually kind of realized especially with my winter shoe collection it's very very capsule i could actually think i could say that it's so minimal i really don't have that many pairs in my collection there's a few kind of gaps that i've realized that i've been missing and a few kind of things that i wanted to fill and maybe like some colorways that i think have been missing from my shoe collection and i've definitely noticed when i've been doing more like styling reels and more tonal outfits of this particular like color so i'm like oh i wish i had a pair of this kind of boots in my wardrobe i wish i had a pair of this kind of boots so i'm really excited to unbox these with you and show you what i think because i think these are going to be a really versatile pair i literally don't want to open the packaging it's just you know when they package it's so pretty oh my gosh can we just appreciate this box i'm in love are you one of those people that keeps all your boxes i saw the funniest meme the other day and it was like adulthood is holding onto a box just because it's a really nice box and i'm like i relate because i don't want to get rid of this box but the shoes that we have inside oh my gosh look at this they've got the dust bag this is when you know they're like a premium pair of shoes we've got the laces and the shoes in question <gasps> these are so gorgeous look at these oh my word i am absolutely 
in love with them so this this stunning like big kind of military style boot but they are so feminine because of the color because of the sheepskin because of the shape i am obsessed with them and they smell I absolutely love them. So I picked these up in a four, I believe. Um, I usually go up a size, especially when it comes to boots, because I usually maybe wear like two pairs of socks underneath just to keep my feet warm. I think this would be a really, really nice transitional shoe to go from winter into summer, because sometimes you want to wear boots, but especially black boots can be a little bit too wintery and a little bit too stark as i was saying about colorways like a big thing in the uk about kind of like showing that you're going into a spring wardrobe is just embracing those lighter tones and i think it's absolutely gorgeous and another reason i'm really excited about these is i am actually going skiing at the end of the month and i think these could make a really nice pair of boots to take with me up the slopes because they've obviously got like a really good tread underneath them they're going to be really like versatile really warm and they still look really nice like that's one of the things that i do sometimes struggle with skiing and stuff like that sometimes the clothing the shoes they're not as like fashionable and i always still like to look a little bit fashionable so i think these are such a gorgeous pair of shoes to add into my wardrobe i am so so obsessed with them it's a little while later now i feel like i've had one of those days where i haven't really been able to speak to you as much as i like would want to but this is going to be a multi-day vlog so i thought i would just sit down and basically talk about like plans for the week and what's going to be happening so tomorrow i actually have a really really fun day planned i'm heading into london early in the morning for a shoot day with charlotte which i'm super excited for and i think it's going to be my first like transitional outfits kind of shoot day we've been shooting lots of like wintry outfits and you'll have noticed that pretty much in like all the vlogs that i've been talking about how cold it has been in the shoots and i'm so so excited about the fact that it's actually starting to get a little bit warmer so i can start to experiment with like blazers and like more transitional styling pieces so i'm so excited about tomorrow's shoot and then afterwards i'm actually booked in for as i said something that i have never had done before and i can't believe i'm admitting this but I've never had a facial in my entire life. I've had plenty of like massages and treatments and things like that, but I've never actually gone and had a facial. And it's something that I'm so, so excited about. So I'm going to, I think it's called Skin Works, but I will correct myself if I'm wrong tomorrow when I head over. And it's in kind of like Soho area. It's basically in between Oxford Circus and Piccadilly Circus. Um, so very central location, really, really easy to get to. And I'm basically going to be going and having a facial there, which I am so so excited about because i really as i said i'm just wanting to work super super hard at getting my skin back to where it was before i'm wanting to give it all the goodness all the treatments all the nutrients that i can to try and help it to get back to a much healthier and happier place so to be able to treat myself with like a little facial and to be able to like really basically speak to an expert about what i can do to help my skin get back to a place that it was because one of the things i do struggle with is that i break out but i'm really dry so often a lot of the products that help with acne you know like retinoids and things like that they just make you drier so i'm super excited to speak to the facialist about like what's best for my skin what we can do about it and what products that we can use to kind of help it so i'm really excited for that tomorrow so i think i'm going to leave this vlog here for tonight because all i have to do for the rest of the evening is basically plan and pack my transitional outfits for tomorrow's shoot and i've still got lots of laptop and admin work i feel like very relentless at the moment with kind of admin work so it's going to be a bit of a boring evening so i will leave the vlog here for you guys and i will pick back up with you tomorrow good morning everyone i am up and ready and getting myself off to london this morning for my really exciting shoot day and facial i am really really looking forward to it i must admit even though i've got the light on i am very excited because if i turn this off can you see that it's kind of light and i'm very excited about that because it means we are getting lighter mornings now which means spring is on its way which means all the good vibes so i'm running a little bit late so i need to shoot straight off to go meet charlotte i've got my coffee ready i've got myself a little snack for the train and i'm ready to go i am so excited about today look who i'm with oh hey I know, I feel like we look a little bit bedraggled. Why does my hair look like that? We have already, <laughs> we've already done a couple of outfits this morning, which it is so nice and mild today. Normally, oh, when we're oh, shooting, yeah. we are shivering, but I'm currently just wearing my little me and M jumper with the H&M skirt, you can see my little cycling shorts there, and I'm not cold. It is absolutely glorious. Um, so we just come to, what's this cafe called again? Spots 
Zaccone's. Zaccone's. So we've just come to Zaccone's Cafe, which is just here. It's like a little Italian restaurant um, at the top of Bond Street. And it's honestly the cutest little cafe. So I think we're gonna grab a coffee there, do some more outfits um, and carry on with the transitional outfits. Currently just sat in Starbs, about to have some lunch because we finished quite early today, which is really, really well. And one of the things I do love about shooting around like Mayfair Bond Street is that it's just so easy because everywhere looks pretty. Um, so we're going to tuck into our sandwiches now, have some lunch, have a bit of a catch up because I feel like we've not seen each other in a good couple of weeks actually. Two weeks is too long. It's too long. So we're going to have a nice girly catch up um, before I head for my facial. Literally, you can just see, I feel like as the day goes on, as my makeup starts to like come off more and more, the scarring and the acne just starts to come through so I cannot wait for my facial later but now it'll be nice to have a little catch up. I've just arrived to skin work now. Sorry if it's a little bit noisy. There's lots of vans and trucks and workmen around me but I've just arrived now for my facial. This is really gorgeous. I love the kind of like minty green of it. I'm so excited so let's head in. day now day after my facial and oh my word did i enjoy that it was such a lovely experience you would have seen some of the clips from yesterday but basically what we did was really kind of like a lot of extraction and a lot of like cleaning off my skin i'm not gonna lie i did get a little bit told off because my skin was quite congested. Um, one thing that really surprised me actually is she didn't focus so much around this area, which I thought she was going to, because obviously that's the area that's like been flaring up. That's the area that's got like some breakouts. She focused here, 
which is an area that I don't really pay much attention to, to be perfectly honest. And she said that there was quite a lot of congestion there. Um, she noticed some blackheads basically from where my glasses sit on my nose, um, which if you're a glasses wearer, that's probably quite a common thing. So obviously, especially if you're wearing makeup, your glasses sit on your nose and then it kind of just like builds up a little bit. Um, so I've been sent away with some homework. She's literally given me a little list and they recommended a couple of products as well. But I thought seeing as though I've had like some new in products recently that I would kind of try my own. Um, but basically my homework is to exfoliate once a week um, and make sure that after I exfoliate, use a mask. She wants me to use a clay mask, like a kind of like, you know, ex um, what's the word? I literally cannot think of the word. Basically the kind of mask that like, you know, cleans and pulls out all your pores that kind of thing but then she wants me to use a hydrating mask here and here because that will help with like the breakouts that will help with my skin because I do have quite dehydrated skin um so yeah it was really really nice it was a little bit of a shame though because basically I wasn't told beforehand that I'm not allowed to use retinols up to 48 hours before so I'd used a retinol not the night before but the night before that so it was still within that 48 hour period which is such a shame because it was probably I'd used it like maybe 42 hours before but they didn't want to risk any kind of like um reaction in my skin because obviously it's quite harsh chemical so we weren't able to do the peel in the end but we were able to do like the really kind of like cleaning cleansing extraction um and we did some like vitamin c masks which was so so nice so all in all the loveliest experience like their little studio setup that they've got is so cute the only negative i will say about it is just the location um it's in quite a like congested busy part of london which when i first saw where it was i was like that's fab like it's so close to oxford street i will just walk from oxford circus you know i'll walk up there after my shoot and then i can walk back to the tube and head home um once i got out because obviously you'd literally just spent the last like hour having your skin really cleaned, having your skin like, you know, extracted and exfoliated and like cleansed. That when I got out, I was like, I literally just wanted to like cover my whole face. I was like, oh my God, all the pollution, all the particles, all the dirtiness of London. And I literally got on the tube and I was just sitting there like, oh, I really hope I'm not undoing everything that this facial has just done. So it's the only thing is obviously because it is so central, like you have to go through the most polluted part of london to get home which is a little bit of a shame um i don't know if they have a few other pop-ups I, I think it's just the one store that they have but if you are in london or if london is easy for you to get to i would a thousand percent recommend it because it was such a lovely treatment my facialist was the loveliest lady ever she was so knowledgeable she was really great at, like explaining what she's doing um and like when they do the extraction some people can find it a little bit sore um it's it's not it's basically the way i describe it, it's kind of like it's like a mini hoover that she kind of like goes up your neck and on your face and some people just don't like the sensation so she was really lovely like checking in on me you know as we were going i found it absolutely fine i didn't find it sore at all um but yeah it was such a great experience and i definitely am noticing my skin just looks really clean um and as you can see the breakouts are really starting to die down they're starting to go which i think has been a mixture of the facial and like the skincare that i'm doing on top of that to kind of care for it um just such a shame that i wasn't able to experience the peel because i think i really would have benefited from that peel but i will definitely have to book another appointment there and go back to be able to experience the full treatment over there so I'm now going to get myself ready for the day and do my everyday makeup. She did say that you can wear makeup the next day. I did ask. I don't know if it's different if you get the peel. Um, but she was impressed with my skincare routine as well. We were chatting about like what I'm using. She's very impressed that I've got a SPF that I use every single day. Um, she said that in the primer is fine as long as it is some kind of SPF. So this is just the Laura Mercier protecting primer, which I really do love as an everyday primer. For moisturiser, I don't want to go for anything too heavy, anything too like heavy coverage, anything that's going to congest my skin really quickly. So I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier. This is the oil-free um, tinted moisturiser, which I really, really like. I unboxed it recently. I've just realized I haven't put my hair out of my face. I unboxed it recently um, in a video. I received a new one and I do just absolutely love it. I think it's such a great really lightweight um foundation and this is in the shade 2n1 nude 
I think I might just whiz through the rest of my makeup because I feel like not much has changed since you last saw me get ready and it's probably going to get really boring for you. So I'm going to whiz through the rest of it, get my face on and get ready for the day. Right, I am ready for the day now. I know it's probably going to be really difficult for you to see because I feel like obviously the camera never quite picks things up in the exact same way as they would in real life. But I feel like my makeup has just applied so much smoother than it normally does. I cannot believe the difference that facial made. I kind of, I don't know what I was expecting from it because obviously I've never had a facial before myself, but I feel like it was just a lot more like, basically just really deep cleaning your skin, which I guess is why it makes sense why celebrities just have perfect skin all the time. If they can get really regular facials, I did ask the facialist how often she would recommend getting them. And she has said once a month. And I really do think it has helped with my skin. I think it looks a little bit glowier. Like I literally have such a lightweight tint of moisturizer on today and it looks really nice. I feel like I'm looking a bit pale in the camera and I think it's because I'm stood like right next to the window. Um, but I feel like it's just looking a lot glowier and a lot more refreshed cleaned alive which makes me really really happy so i definitely think that's something i'm going to look at getting done a lot more regularly and just kind of like making sure that i really am looking after my skin looking after my face i am following the advice and doing weekly exfoliations and masks because i think that's going to make a really really big difference to my skin so really impressed with that i am so so grateful to skin work for giving me the opportunity to have that treatment and have that experience and i'll make sure to link to them down below if you guys want to go and get it done yourself because as i said would 10,000 percent recommend facialists there are all so lovely it's so clean and fresh and the vibe in there is just gorgeous so i would definitely recommend going and checking it out and i'm definitely gonna have to go back to try out the peel as well but i think i'm going to leave this little weekly vlog here because it's probably gotten long enough by this point but i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video have enjoyed coming shooting with me seeing some new pieces and my little skin journey i really am taking you along my skin journey at the moment so if you got to the end of this video leave me your favorite heart emoji down below in the comments whether that's the green heart the blue heart the two little pink hearts together leave me your favorite heart emoji down below in the comments and if you don't have the emojis leave the word heart down below in the comments so i know you got to the end of this video and if you haven't hit that subscribe button already i would absolutely love it if you hit it so you can make sure you never miss a single upload i know a lot of you guys who watch these videos haven't actually hit the subscribe button so make sure to do that because it will absolutely make my day and i will see you guys in my next video bye